If you could have any superpower, what would you choose? Some will say being invisible. Some others might pick immortality. While for some, time travel would be quite cool. We suspect that the ability to read minds might also be pretty high on this list. What is the easiest way to read someone's mind? Perhaps it is to look at all their internet searches made over time. At Algorithm Research, we have done exactly that. Our algorithms have tracked billions of Google searches made by Turkish residents from January 2015 to May 2021. Analyzing these internet searches made in English and Turkish helped us identify emerging trends in consumption and investment post-COVID. Our digital road trip to Turkey revealed multiple interesting insights, be it pertaining to current affairs, consumer trends, or basic human behavior and related anxieties. So what if we told you that the people in Turkey conducted opportunistic searches on the internet that could help them hedge against the twin risks posed by the pandemic and a depreciating Turkish lira, which then led them to look for alternative assets as a store of value? Smart, isn't it? But then we are only getting started. Imagine you're an investment management firm or an e-commerce startup, and we tell you that the fastest rising Google searches in Turkey were for the price of Bitcoin and Ethereum, followed by the prices of iPhone 11 and PS5. How about an interesting bit of trivia? Did you know that one of the fastest growing searches in Turkey was for Lira to Pakistani rupee conversion? The surprising bit is that the Pakistani diaspora in Turkey is rather small. This is pure data, but it is somewhat difficult to make sense of this data. The insight behind this data is that our research and anecdotal evidence suggests that irregular Afghan arrivals to Turkey contributed to this spike and more so as the Taliban tightens their grip in Afghanistan. For more such detailed analyses and insights, download the report on Turkey turning crisis into opportunity on www.algorithm-research.com.